That was so close. All right, quarterfinal number three, Taka Higashino versus Levi Sherwood. These guys, two very similarly matched up competitors, although Taka, he's struggling a little bit with an injured foot, so uh, hopefully that won't cause too many issues for him. Taka will be the first to ride between these two. And oh, we got some New Zealand fans in the audience there. So Sherwood's got his own fan club. Well, Sherwood has won seven of these, eight of these events. And that's more than anyone. Yeah, he's only and one. Now he's one event ahead of the next most winningest athlete in Red Bull X Fighters history, Danny Torres. Well, he knows how to win. He does. He knows, and, and up until... He started early. Yeah, <laughs> well, he started at 17 years old. Great to see Taka back on tour as well. Yeah, really like Taka. He's our first rider out in the third head-to-head -head here in quarterfinal action. Hello, I'm Taka Higashino from Japan. Yeah, I'll be enjoy. Yeah, this guy. I <laughs> Always messing around uh, is Taka. I love the irreverent humor from Taka, though. It's just so fun as he heads into the tunnel to start off the big 35-meter-long kicker. Here we go, Taka. Rocka Taka here. All right. That, oh, whoa, there it is. Rock solid. Oh. And that is just, uh, what an incredible way. And not only a rock solid backflip, over the 115 footer here. Yeah. That is an incredible that is way big. to start off. If you want to make an impression on the judges, that's the way to do it. Cordova flip. Beautiful extension. And it looked, I mean, to me up here, it looked like he was going to over-rotate that, but these landings are so high. These are huge. We talked about it at the top of the show. They, they're so they're so massive, and here comes that Cali roll. Oops, just about didn't get that left hand yeah. lever. Huh? He he invented that thing, and now there's there's about five guys doing it. So it's like you mentioned straight earlier. You know, it's uh, used to have some time before somebody else would come up with your trick. Now everybody's getting right on the horse and uh, and moving into the next phase. KOD flip for Taka. 20, 20 seconds, seconds left. left on the clock, so we should see two more. Adam, tough guy in it in there, but you're not <laughs> fooling us, buddy. Taka stretching out the 9 o'clock knack. Nice and smooth. So as long as you're under power going into the tunnel, the last trick, which is this one, will count, even if the clock is at zero. And they're an underflip for Taka. Yeah, that's unusual. We normally not seeing him do the underflip. Yeah, that was great. Great way to end off. The, ju the judges want to see you start strong and end strong. I mean, these days, you basically have to be strong the whole way through. You do have to throw in a couple non-burial, a couple non-flip tricks in there in the middle to show you have that variety, because variety is 20%. Right. But starting strong like this, look at that. Rock solid. And that was uh, best flip. trick action right there with the full extension of his arms as well. It seems like all these guys run these days yeah. are full best trick gold medal winning tricks stacked back to back. And look, see that left hand on for the Cali roll. You spin, you get out perpendicular to the bike, spin around, and then you see that left hand has to go from under the grip to back on top of the, grip, on the yeah. grip. So much going on in a burial like that. Yeah, Taka's looking really good out there. He's got a good mix of tricks as well. Taka Higashino up next. The little ninja. Hello, I'm Taka Higashino, Japan. I hear South Africa, like wild animal. Like I'm Japanese, yeah, wild animal, like a cat. <laughs> Uh, what a character. Yeah, I was just going to say, what a character. One of those guys that you just, you know, you always have a good giggle and a big smile on your face about. All right, Taka. Let's see if he's got everything he needs in this bag of tricks to keep up with Michael Malero. Double grab flip. We know he's capable of rock solid back, but I wonder if he's holding that off for later and maybe he just got a bad pop on that. No, that's the uh, tactic part of the game. There you go, a little strip of Cordova. 
Keeping it cool. Oh, he's eyeing down the quarter pipe, Troy. Lofty. Oh, yeah. Nice, Taka. That's a new one in his bag right there. That's putting him back in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice, clean California roll. Taka, the actual first guy to kind of start that revolution. And he has his own little ninja style to it. He was hanging off the bike before he left the ramp right there. Yeah. That was unbelievable. Gigantic. Can can take off into a switchblade. You know, one hand C grab into a holy grab. He's filling this run with a lot of great tricks, and I think we can say he's gone, you know, trick for trick with Molero almost. There's the Cordova flip, and Molero had one of those in his run too. So I mean, we might be comparing apples to apples in this case. Yeah, nice. No, they are going to count this run right here. If he cleans this one, well, I'm going to go out there and say it right now, he cleaned that extra two jumps compared with Molero's small mistakes. Yeah. That's going to be huge for Taka right there. That's yeah, a big deal as well. And, uh, you know, it may, it may be the difference maker. We'll see when the judges throw down their decision here. Remember, folks, in the quarterfinal, these guys have 75 seconds time to get in their tricks and to impress these judges. And they need three of the five categories in order to move on to the semifinals. Well, we got Great Britain's Adam Simpson judging the use of course. And that one had to be good for him right there because Taka was all over the place. Yeah, but the one thing that Taka didn't do that Michael did do is use that transfer ramp. That's right. Got me good. I think it's really going to come down to, you know, an extra line for Taka, but the use of course for Michael. We'll see. And that's well, where the variety comes in right there. That's just a style of his own. Yeah, okay, uh, I'll give him that for sure. But I, I'm not sure I completely agree with the use of horse call. You know, like I said, Michael Malero was uh, of that pairing, the only well, guy who used that transfer flip. Troy, sure, let me remind you too, though. Use of course goes a little deeper than, than it's how you use the course also. You know, right. there's a little touch of that. Taka obviously delivered, no mistakes. He did hit a quarter pipe. Next round coming up, the semifinals. We got our winner from Heat 2, that's Taka. Our winner from Heat 3, that's Clinton Moore. They're going to be going up against each other in semifinal number one. Use the right. quarter pipe. Taka's going to have to pack a lunch. Taka. You think it's sushi? I don't know. I think maybe it's burgers. He's living in the States after all. True. Burgers and fries. All right, Taka Higashino. Show us something, buddy. What do you got for us out there? Taka heading into this step down ramp. his onboard camera somewhere along there too from that hey, big head bob. Nice. Let's see grab. Stripper Cordova. Is he coming over to this quarter pipe? Right he is. Out. Here he goes. Looks like he's going to go back into that flare. What do you got, Taka? Floats yeah. it. Oh, lands a little sideways, but he's getting a lot more comfortable with those now. Yeah, and his off, amplitude no is really nice. He's getting up way high on that. He's looking great. Here we go. Think about that bike with that little ninja on there. It's going to shoot the moon off that quarter. extension with his legs he was looking for. Kind of looked like he hung up, freaking Man. out a bit there. Clinton Moore says, that's mine. Taka still getting out there. Big base twist up into that beautiful kiss of death. And then keeps it going over the double-double. While Clinton's over there hot-dogging over the trophies, Taka's laying down some great jumps. Cordova flip. Oh, beautiful extension. Really pushed those hips through as well. Floats that double neck out front, front, front and high in the landing, chooses to bail out of that line so he can hit the super kicker, get that use of course in. What's he got on that? Shaolin flip. And that's going to take time. 90 seconds done and dusted for Taka Higashino. Now it's entirely in the hands of the judges. It's going to be a tough call. 
I don't know, Troy. Clinton uh, seems pretty confident right now. Big grin on his face. Yeah, I mean, Clinton had some great hits in there, but Taka, you know, I mean, come on, who's kidding? Taka had the flair as well. Taka had the California roll. Taka's a super clean rider. Yeah, I mean, it looked great. So I, I really, I'm struggling in my in my own little uh, tiny brain to try and figure out, you know, where this is going to go with our judges. And like I say, I'm thankful I'm not a judge in this situation. We look back at some of the slow mo action from Taka's run. That seat grab stripper. Nice variety pulls there. Pulls it back around. All kinds of stuff happening on that little trick. To me, in Taka's run, kind of towards the end, he started. Lazy might be a strong word, but it seemed like he kind of slowed it down a little bit. And what we saw out of Clinton was he just kept pushing super hard. There you go. California roll like it's no thing. Nobody does him better than Taka. There you go. Cordova flip. Perfect execution <laughs> and punctuation. That is fantastic. One of my favorite tricks for a long time, ever since I saw Adam Jones do it for the first time in Vienna, Austria, a bunch of years ago. It's been.